Hi guys, my name is Crystal Bianca and welcome to my channel. If you're new here and you like my content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Perfectly fractured is stressing me out. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about what exactly is happening in the process and why I am so freaked out about this book. In one of my previous videos, I told you guys that I had given Perfectly Fractured to my editor and that I was done with the book and that I was just sort of waiting it out until I got some feedback back. And I actually did end up getting some feedback from my editor and when I did, I was just a bit overwhelmed because I realized that I am not done with Perfectly Fractured and that there's still changes that need to be made. My editor did change things having to do with like grammar and spelling and stuff like that, but there's still a whole load of things that need to be changed. And this isn't the first time that I thought that I was done with Perfectly Fractured. There have been multiple times before where I thought, yes, this is the final draft, it sounds good, like it's done. And then I've gone back to it and I've realised that it's not done and that there is more changes that need to be made. I think what's stressing me out the most is that one of the main pieces of feedback was to bulk up the descriptions. And you have no idea how time consuming it is trying to bulk up descriptions and to write more. And that goes way beyond just the normal editing like getting rid of grandma and spelling mistakes. That's like thinking of a whole new parts to add to the story. And when I heard this piece of feedback, I was, yeah, I was super overwhelmed and I was a bit anxious and then I realized that, yeah, I was pretty upset actually because I thought that I was done with Perfectly Fractured. I've already put in so much time and effort into this book and I didn't want to spend even more time on it. So I had to sort of, you know, I had to do it. It needs to be done if I want Perfectly Fractured to be ready for publishing and to be the best book that it can be this needed to be done. So I'm a bit of a workhorse. Once I hear something's wrong with my book, I want to fix it straight away. I don't want it just sitting there because then it becomes even more overwhelming. So I got started with editing straight away. So my editor had edited half of my book. So that's around 150 pages. So I got out the document, I saved it as something separate for an editing document. And then I started making all the changes. I think even starting off, I added like two pages to the beginning of the book. That's how much I've chunked up some of this information. And when I've made the changes, I have changed the color of the writing to purple. So I can tell what was the original writing and what I have changed. So when I go back to look at it again, I can sort of just look at the purple bits and not so much the bits that are in black. I have pushed myself so hard to do this. Every day I've been at it, like, getting it done, making sure I do it. By the end of my editing sessions, I have a massive headache and I just don't even want to look at the book anymore. And this is just really frustrating to me. Like, it's like I don't even want to look at it anymore. Like, I love the book, but I've spent so much time with the book over these past few months that I've just, I've had enough. Like, I want to finish this book, I want to move on, and I wanted to focus more on book two. I don't want to have to spend all of this extra time on book one, you know what I mean? So it's been really hard. I think going into this process I had no idea how much hard work goes into actually making a book and I think it's even more daunting because this is my first book and I'm not used to it and I'm sort of learning along the way but I know that if I just keep going, I keep pushing, I will get this done. I haven't finished editing all of it yet. I have edited a lot of it actually, but there's one part of the book that I haven't gotten to yet and that is the diary entries. And that's because the diary entries need something done different to it than what the rest of the book needs. So the diary entries, my piece of criticism from my editor was that it sounded a lot like the main text, like my main character Simone, like she was speaking, and that was not what I had intended. So I need to do some research and somehow figure out how the hell I'm going to get this, these entries sounding different and how I create a different character's voice. And this is going to be difficult for me, like I know that for other more experienced authors they know what to do, like they've done it before, but I'm not quite sure how to exactly go about this. 
I'm just gonna have to watch maybe a few YouTube videos, um, go and look up some websites and, you know, figure out how to do it and do my best, but I'm not sure how that's gonna go and it's really freaking me out a bit. I think my next step is just to put all of the diary entries in a separate document so I can sort of see them all together and then just go at them one by one and sort of um, make sure that it all flows properly and that I make the right changes. And I think it'll just be easier just doing it all on a separate document and then I can just transfer it over to the main one once I'm all done. So this is still like, my book is still on more so like an editing sort of document. It hasn't even been transferred to the main proper document where I'm going to have like the first pages of the book and the last pages of the book. So all that formatting still needs to be done as well. This is just so exhausting. It's just so much and it's so tiring and I've had enough and I'm whinging and I shouldn't be but yeah. Perfectly Fractured is really frustrating me right now. Once I've got those changes done, I'm going to wait for my second round of feedback and then do even more editing. But I will keep you guys updated. If you guys have any questions for me, drop them down in the comments down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.